Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a sphere today, uh, just like this one. I'm going to show you how to make one uh, exactly the right um, diameter that you want, or radius I guess. And um, I guess let's just get started. So I'm going to move the finished product out of the way here. Okay. Now let's say that you wanted to make a sphere with a radius of 5 feet. It's going to be a pretty large sphere, you can fit a guy in there, a little short guy. Um, so what you'd first do is make a circle around some uh, origin or some point that you knew. And the second thing you're going to want to do is make another circle of the exact same uh, radius um, so that you have sort of this plus sign of circles. All right, then you're going to draw a line from the edge to the middle or the center of your sphere and delete these this other half, so you're going to be left with a circle and a half of a circle. What you'll do then is select this rim and then click the follow me tool and click this face. Okay, and then there you have your sphere. Now there's one last thing that you want to do to make your model a little bit more simple. And you still have this disk inside here, so we're going to zoom in, zoom in until we can feel like we went through it. And then delete the inside and then you have a sphere. Now what I, oh sorry, what I did here is I, I went to X, X-ray and uh, face, and you can actually find that in faces style X-ray. So um, I just have that quickly done. Um, the last thing that you might want to do is we'll get out of X-ray. And uh, perhaps you want to texture it with something, like um, something clear would be neat. Is that translucent? And uh, let's do this. So you texture it both the top and the bottom. And then you could have sort of like a disco ball effect. Maybe this one would be even neater. If you have a disco ball. So uh, that's how you make a sphere in Google SketchUp. Uh, you have a solar system. <laughs> Alright, um, I hope this was helpful. And uh, subscribe for new tutorials on all, all sorts of my random hobbies, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll respond to them very quickly. Uh, thanks for watching.